Patrick adalah seorang bartender. Di waktu luang, ia menggambari papan pengumuman di luar bar untuk mempromosikan menu spesial setiap hari. Alatnya kapur. We were on a strip of, of, of the street where there was tons of bars and everyone had these boards out and it always said the same thing, three dollar rum and cokes, whatever. So I tried to be as creative as possible. That was my whole point was to prompt interest for somebody walking down the street to say, oh, that's interesting, maybe I'll check out this. Place. Kreasi artistiknya berkembang dan Patrick mulai dipanggil untuk komisi pribadi, termasuk oleh Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, Museum Dirgantara di Washington DC. Kuratornya memilih karya Patrick berupa interpretasi artistik sebuah kompas. Pihak museum memberikan ide objek yang akan digambar, lalu Patrick menuangkan kreativitasnya dalam goresan kapur. They had the scale and the dimension. They knew they were they were going to put it outside. Um, but as far as like the the specific image, they kind of left it up to me. And then I wanted to integrate an actual rose in the center of the the compass, and they were they were all for that. The final product was amazing, and I think the most telling thing of all was after the event, the building crew didn't want to take down the stanchions because they didn't want anybody walking on it to ruin the art. Kemampuan Patrick terus berkembang seiring teknik dan alat yang dipakai. Akhir-akhir ini ia lebih banyak menggunakan spidol kapur dibanding kapur biasa. Misalnya saat menggambar karakter Swedish Chef dari sebuah serial televisi ternama Amerika. Juru masak kenamaan Jose Andres membayar Patrick untuk membuat papan yang unik di restorannya. Layaknya proyek Smithsonian, Patrick diberi satu objek untuk dikembangkan. Mural ini hanyalah satu dari sekian banyak karya Patrick untuk Jose Andres yang punya banyak bar dan restoran di wilayah Washington DC. I did work for Haleo, I did some pillars and some lettering there and then and then that was right around the time when they were opening up mini bar. Um, so I just kind of started with a couple small projects and then they just kept adding to it. Sebenarnya bisa saja dengan mudah Patrick memilih hanya menjadi seniman, tapi menurutnya belum waktunya. I could split off in either direction. I could I could easily go full time as as a bartender or a bar manager or you know something else, or I could go full time as an artist. And I'm I'm being selfish right now because I kind of want the best of both worlds. Dari Washington DC, tim BOA.